What if a car company, one known for rather expensive and futuristic machines, decided to build something for, well, almost everyone? I'm not talking about a stripped down basic box on wheels that feels like a penalty for not having more money. I mean a proper desirable electric car, one with clever technology, decent range, and a badge that carries a certain amount of cachet. Now, what if they offered this car for about $25,000? This isn't just a hypothetical musing over a pint, it's the central question surrounding one of the most anticipated vehicles in recent memory, the car many have nicknamed the Tesla Model 2. It's a number that does more than just define a price. It promises to redefine an entire industry. The very idea of a Tesla at this price point is frankly a bit of a bombshell. For years, the electric vehicle conversation has been dominated by impressive but often eye-wateringly expensive models. They've been the preserve of early adopters, the tech savvy, and those with a healthy bank balance. The promise of clean, quiet, and cheap to run motoring has remained just out of reach for the average family. The Model 2, or whatever Tesla officially decides to call it, represents a direct assault on that barrier. It is the company's bold declaration that the electric revolution shouldn't be an exclusive club. It's a promise whispered to millions of drivers still tethered to the petrol pump. Your time is coming. This isn't merely about adding another model to a showroom floor. It's about creating a new entry point into a completely different way of thinking about personal transport. The significance of the $25,000 figure cannot be overstated. It places this new Tesla squarely in the territory of some of the world's best-selling petrol-powered cars, like the Toyota Corolla or the Honda Civic. It's a price that transforms an electric car from a lifestyle choice or a statement of environmental virtue into a pragmatic, everyday financial decision. For the first time, a buyer weighing their options for a reliable, affordable new car would have a genuinely compelling electric alternative from a brand that has, until now, operated in a different stratosphere. The ripples of this potential launch are already being felt across the automotive world. Rival manufacturers are scrambling, investors are speculating, and the public is watching with immense curiosity. Will it have the performance we expect from a Tesla? What will be left out to meet that ambitious price? Can it truly deliver on its promise without feeling compromised? The Model 2 is more than just a car. It's a litmus test for the future of mobility. It's the vehicle that could finally bridge the gap between the early adopter phase of electric vehicles and and true undeniable mass market adoption. The stakes you see are extraordinarily high for everyone. Let's be honest, the current electric vehicle market is a bit like a fancy restaurant with a brilliant menu that most people can only afford to look at. The excitement is palpable, the technology is fascinating and the environmental benefits are clear. Yet for the average car buyer, the price of entry remains a significant hurdle. We see fantastic machines like the Porsche Taycan, the Audi e-tron, and Tesla's own Model S and Model X, but these are aspirational vehicles. They are posters on a bedroom wall, not practical considerations for the school run or the weekly shop. This has created a frustrating paradox. The technology to solve many of motoring's problems exists, but it is locked behind a financial gate. The numbers tell the story quite clearly. As of today, in mid-2025, the average transaction price for a new electric vehicle in many Western markets still hovers well above that of its petrol-powered equivalent. While there are some more affordable options trickling in from various manufacturers, they often come with compromises. These might include a limited driving range that induces anxiety anxiety, slower charging speeds that test your patience, or a features list so sparse it feels like you've gone back in time. The industry has been crying out for a product that doesn't force buyers to choose between their budget and a genuinely good, modern driving experience. This is the gap, the vast yawning chasm in the market, that the Model 2 is designed to fill. It's a problem that legacy automakers have struggled to solve. Many of their initial forays into the more affordable end of the EV spectrum have been based on existing petrol car platforms. This is a bit like trying to to build a speedboat on the chassis of a double-decker bus. It works, after a fashion, but it's inherently inefficient. The designs are compromised by the need to accommodate engines and fuel tanks that aren't there, leading to wasted space and added weight. This inefficiency drives up costs and often results in a less-than-ideal product. The market is saturated with these compliance cars vehicles built not to lead the charge, but simply to meet emissions regulations. This is why the buzz around a purpose-built affordable Tesla is so deafening. The public isn't 
isn't just waiting for a cheap electric car. They are waiting for a good cheap electric car. They've seen what Tesla can do at the premium end of the market and are hopeful that some of that magic can be distilled into a more accessible package. The demand is not just latent, it's active and growing. People are becoming more aware of running costs, fuel price volatility, and environmental impact. They are ready to make the switch, but the industry hasn't given them a compelling enough reason to do so. The stage is perfectly set for a disruptor to come in and offer a solution that is both desirable and attainable. To understand why the Model 2 could be such a monumental event, one must look at Tesla's track record. This is a company that has, from its very inception, treated the established automotive rulebook with a healthy dose of skepticism. When the original Tesla Roadster launched, the consensus was that electric cars were slow, boring, and had the range of a milk float. The Roadster, a blisteringly quick sports car, single-handedly shattered that perception. It was a proof of concept that demonstrated electric power could be exciting. It was expensive, yes, but it planted a flag and announced a new player was on the field, and they weren't playing by the old rules. Then came the Model S. This was the car that truly sent shockwaves through the boardrooms of traditional automakers in Germany, Japan, and Detroit. Before the Model S, a large premium saloon was expected to have a complex, multi-cylinder petrol engine. It was supposed to be a showcase of mechanical engineering. Tesla threw that all out. They offered a car with silent, instantaneous acceleration, a massive touchscreen that controlled everything, and the ability to get better over time through software updates sent over the air. It wasn't just a new car, it was a new philosophy. It treated the car as a piece of high-tech hardware, fundamentally changing customer expectations. The next logical step in this disruptive journey was to make the technology more accessible, which led to the Model 3. This was Tesla's first real attempt at a mass market vehicle, aimed at the BMW 3 Series and Audi A4 crowd. While its launch was famously fraught with production challenges what Elon Musk called production hell, it ultimately succeeded beyond anyone's wildest dreams. It became the world's best-selling electric vehicle and proved that a significant number of consumers were willing to pay a premium for a compelling electric car. The Model 3 didn't just compete with other EVs, it started stealing sales directly from its petrol-powered rivals, proving the demand was there if the product was right. Each of these models was a deliberate step down the price ladder, a calculated move in a grand strategy outlined by Musk years ago. First, build an expensive sports car. Use the profits to build a more affordable saloon. Then, use those profits to build an even more affordable car for the masses. The Model 2 is the logical and perhaps final step in that original master plan. It is the culmination of everything the company has learned about design, engineering, and manufacturing over the past two decades. It represents the transition from disrupting the premium and mid-range markets to challenging the very foundation of the global automotive industry. The affordable family car. Achieving a $25,000 price point without producing a terrible car is, honestly, an immense engineering and manufacturing challenge. It isn't simply a case of making a Model 3 smaller and, you know, just taking some bits out. It really requires a fundamental rethinking of how a car is designed and built from the ground up. Tesla's approach to this is a multi-pronged attack on cost, starting with manufacturing. The key innovation here is the gigacasting or megacasting process. So, instead of assembling a car's underbody for from hundreds of individual stamped metal parts, which need to be welded and bonded together by an army of robots, Tesla uses these enormous presses to cast large sections of the car's frame as a single piece. This method is, honestly, revolutionary. It dramatically simplifies the assembly line, reduces the factory footprint, lowers the number of robots required, and just makes the entire process faster and cheaper. A single giga casting can replace 70 or more individual parts, eliminating thousands of welds and rivets. This not only cuts down on manufacturing costs and time but also results in a lighter, stiffer chassis, which can improve safety and vehicle dynamics. For the Model 2, Tesla is expected to take this concept even further with what it calls its unbox manufacturing process, where different sections of the car are built and fully completed in parallel before being brought together for final assembly, kind of like building with giant Lego bricks. The second pillar of cost reduction is the battery, which has historically been the most expensive component of an electric vehicle. 
Tesla has been relentless in its pursuit of cheaper, more efficient battery technology. A significant breakthrough is the adoption of lithium iron phosphate, or LFP, cells for its standard range vehicles. Unlike the nickel cobalt manganese chemistries used in longer range cars, LFP batteries do not require cobalt, a rare, expensive, and ethically problematic material. While they're slightly less energy dense, LFP cells are significantly cheaper to produce, are more durable, and can be regularly charged to 100% without significant degradation, which makes them perfect for an affordable everyday car. Finally, there's Tesla's aggressive vertical integration. Unlike traditional automakers who rely on a vast web of external suppliers for everything from seats to software, Tesla prefers to do as much as possible in-house. They design their own computer chips, write their own software, build their own electric motors, and in partnership with companies like Panasonic and CATL, are deeply involved in battery cell production. This control over the supply chain gives them a tremendous advantage. It allows them to innovate faster, optimize how components work together, and most importantly, capture the profit margin that would otherwise go to a third-party supplier. This combination of manufacturing, battery, and supply chain innovation is the secret sauce that makes the $25,000 target plausible. When the Model 2 eventually arrives in showrooms, it will not be entering an empty arena. It's going to face a growing roster of competitors, both electric and petrol-powered. Its most direct electric rivals will likely be vehicles like the Chevrolet Bolt, the Nissan Leaf, and a whole bunch of new budget-friendly models from Chinese manufacturers like BYD and MG who are making aggressive pushes into global markets. These cars have already established a foothold in the affordable EV space. However, the Model 2's anticipated advantage lies not just in its price but in the perceived value and technology that comes with the Tesla badge. It aims to offer a more premium, high-tech experience for the same money. To hit that magic $25,000 number though, sacrifices will be inevitable. Don't expect the blistering acceleration of a Model 3 performance or the expansive range of a Model S long range. The range will likely be a sensible 250 to 300 miles on a full charge, which is more than enough for the vast majority of daily driving needs but might not be ideal for long cross-country road trips. The the interior will almost certainly be a masterclass in minimalism, even more so than the Model 3, with a single central screen controlling nearly all vehicle functions. Luxuries like premium sound systems, ventilated seats, and exotic trim materials will likely be reserved for more expensive models or optional packages. The real battle, though, won't just be against other EVs. The primary target for the Model 2 is the heart of the internal combustion engine market. It's going to be priced to compete directly with perennial bestsellers like the Toyota Corolla, Honda Civic, and Volkswagen Golf. For a potential buyer in this segment, the choice will suddenly become much more interesting. Do they stick with the familiar reliability of a petrol-powered Japanese or German car, or do they take the leap into an electric future with the Model 2? The Tesla will have to win them over not just on eco-credentials, but on the cold, hard numbers of ownership costs, performance, and everyday usability. Here, Tesla's proposition becomes quite compelling. It will likely offer quicker acceleration than its petrol rivals, a quieter and smoother ride, and a more modern, tech-forward interior. While the initial purchase price might be similar, the total cost of ownership promises to be significantly lower thanks to cheaper fuel, that is, electricity, and vastly reduced maintenance needs. No oil changes, no spark plugs, no exhaust systems to worry about. The car's success will depend on how effectively Tesla can communicate these long-term benefits to a mainstream audience that is, honestly, pretty used to thinking only about the the sticker price and miles per gallon. The introduction of a truly affordable and desirable electric car from a leading brand like Tesla could be the catalyst that finally pushes EVs into the mainstream. For over a decade, electric cars have been on an upward trajectory, but their market share has still been relatively small compared to the vast ocean of petrol and diesel vehicles. The primary barrier has consistently been price. The Model 2 directly addresses this head-on. By lowering the cost of entry, it unlocks a massive new segment of the market students, young families, second car buyers, and honestly, anyone on a modest budget who previously saw EVs as an unaffordable luxury. This isn't just opening the door, it's taking the door off its hinges. This shift would have profound consequences for the traditional automotive industry. For years, legacy automakers have been able to treat EVs as a secondary concern, a side project to satisfy regulators while they continue to profit from their bread and butter petrol SUVs and trucks. A successful Model 2 would shatter that complacency. It would prove that an electric car can compete with and beat a petrol car on its own turf price.
This would create immense pressure on companies like Ford, General Motors, Volkswagen and Toyota to accelerate their own affordable EV programs. They would be forced to either compete directly with Tesla or risk losing a huge chunk of the most important market segment of all. The impact extends beyond just the car manufacturers. A rapid increase in the number of EVs on the road would accelerate the build-out of charging infrastructure, creating a positive feedback loop. More EVs demand more chargers, and more available chargers make owning an EV more convenient convenient, encouraging more people to make the switch. It would also put significant pressure on the oil and gas industry as the demand for petrol begins to decline in a more meaningful way. The Model 2 could be the vehicle that truly begins to bend the curve on transportation-related carbon emissions, transitioning the fight against climate change from a policy discussion to a consumer choice made millions of times over in car dealerships. We could be looking at a genuine tipping point similar to the moment when smartphones overtook feature phones or when digital cameras replaced film. At first, the new technology is expensive and niche. Then, a product comes along that is affordable, easy to use, and better in key ways than the old technology. Suddenly, adoption explodes, and within a few years, the old way of doing things seems antiquated. The Model 2 has the potential to be that product for the automotive world. It's the vehicle that could make driving a petrol car feel, for the first time to a mass audience, like a conscious decision to choose yesterday's technology. When you buy a car from a traditional manufacturer. That's largely where the relationship ends. You buy the car, you get the keys, and you see them again for servicing. When you buy a Tesla though, you are not just buying a car, you are buying into an entire ecosystem. This is one of Tesla's most significant, and honestly often underestimated, competitive advantages. For a Model 2 owner, this ecosystem provides a layer of value and convenience that its rivals will find incredibly difficult to replicate. It starts the moment you need to travel beyond your home charging range. The Tesla Supercharger Network is, without a doubt, the gold standard of public charging. It's fast, reliable, and seamlessly integrated into the car's navigation system. You simply tell the car where you want to go, and it automatically plans your route, including any necessary charging stops, telling you exactly how long you need to charge at each location. There are no fumbling with different apps, payment cards, or memberships for various charging networks. You just plug in, the car authenticates itself, and charging begins, with the cost billed directly to your Tesla account. For a new EV owner, this removes one of the biggest sources of anxiety and complexity associated with electric motoring, making long-distance travel genuinely easy and stress-free. Then there is the software. A traditional car is at its best the day you drive it off the forecourt. From that moment on, it slowly ages. A Tesla, on the other hand, has the potential to get better over time. Through regular over-the-air software updates, the company can deploy new features, improve performance, enhance the user interface, and even increase the car's efficiency or range. Your car can literally wake up in the morning with new capabilities it didn't have the night before. This constant evolution keeps the vehicle feeling fresh and modern long after purchase and creates a sense of ongoing value that is unique in the automotive world. Finally, we come back to the economics of ownership. The initial $25,000 sticker price is just the beginning of the story. The real-world savings accumulate over the life of the vehicle. Electricity is, in most places, significantly cheaper per mile than petrol. The mechanical simplicity of an electric motor means there are far fewer moving parts to wear out or require maintenance. There are no oil changes, no transmission fluid, no spark plugs, no timing belts, and no exhaust systems. Brake wear is also significantly reduced thanks to regenerative braking. For a family on a tight budget, these accumulated savings on fuel and maintenance can amount to thousands of dollars over several years, making the total cost of owning a Model 2 potentially lower than that of a cheaper petrol car. This complete package, the car, the network, the software, and the savings is what could ultimately reshape personal transportation for a new generation.